comes to who knows if she doesn't have to. I love Dolly Parton. Wait a minute, that clock has not moved in 50 minutes. Yeah, don't worry about that clock. Whoa, oh, nice. Holy cow. Let me bring this music down, okay? I'm going to cut it abruptly. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome. Hey guys, welcome to Talking Trucks. It's Thursday, so we are talking trucks today, and that means that we've got Kent, Mr. Truck, right here. Say howdy, Kent. Howdy, Kent. We're live from Boulder. We are. We are live from Boulder. We got our jerky, <laughs> we got our donuts, we got our chicken. We are ready to rock and roll at Ayatollah. Hey guys, welcome. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's much better. Hey, so thank you for joining us for this very special show. And today we're going to be talking about what it's like to tow 35,100 pounds because Kent just came back from towing that much weight. And you're the only one <laughs> on our team who actually has a commercial driver's license. And by the way, if you're wondering where Andre is, where's Andre? He's stuck in traffic. He's, he's somewhere stuck, in the hills. He's stuck in traffic towing, <laughs> he's actually. He's chasing around the ditches. Now, tell us about your hat. You're a big truck guy now? Yeah, check this out, man. I've got my uh, big truck hat, so you can tell it's the big truck show. <laughs> truck Thursday. And this is uh, a really cool uh, hat I found uh, at the local store. I think it's from Truckee, Colorado. So they're not our Truckee, sponsors. Colorado. I just like the hat, man. It's cool. Now, now you need to get you a pheasant feather and stick it in there. You look really cool. What kind of hat you got there, dude? This is a Cobra. Yeah. From Australia. What's a what's a cobra? That means it's made out of a lot of dead rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Yes. Better than live ones. Felt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cobra is a really good uh, hat company out of Australia. I've got several of them. But so so are we are we ready to get started here? Yes. All right. Yes. So you and Andre just came back from Las Vegas, where you drove, as far as I know, the only person in Colorado to have done so, the brand yes. new Ram thirty five hundred, Cummins, right? You know, that, With, it was a challenge. With because, a thousand pound foot of torque, dude. Yes, and you know, they said it all comes out first. So I thought, well, I'll just floor it and burn rubber. I floored it and it took off, but it didn't really burn rubber. Right. Now, Jim Morrison was with me most of the day. Yeah, the CEO Ram, of Ram, 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 yeah. He's a big Ram brand guy. Yeah, and he, yeah. Yeah, he says, by third gear, you can burn the rubber. But at 30, maybe not 35,000 pounds, but I floored it. And it was really cool that we were in a single cab, two wheel drive. Let me help you here. Single cab, two wheel drive. Can you hear me now? <laughs> so, yeah. anyway, so I'm not used to single cabs anymore. I grew up with single cabs, but we had took us out there to some Indian ghost mine thing. There's supposed to be ghosts all over from the, them attacking white settlers or whatever. <laughs> I didn't see any, I don't think, but you know, the road was very narrow. It was not. 12 foot lanes, it's more like nine foot lanes. What, what were you towing? We were towing, uh, it was a 40 foot trailer with tandem duels, and it was maybe each one was 16,000 pounds. So that's 32,000, right? Can so you, that's not quite 35. Can, that means the tongue weight is where they put the rest of it. And weight. what was on the trailer? It was a backhoe, a case backhoe, and then it had pallets of who knows what. Couldn't really identify the products. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, it was so it wasn't, like, there wasn't like a tank or something cool. No, nothing really cool. The backhoe right. was neat, but I mean, I wish we would have put like maybe two backhoes. That would have been cool. All but right, and the question that I think everybody out there is dying to know is: you got a new Ram with best in class. Well, Chevy has come out and said they tow thirty five thousand five hundred, but the only one that's on the road right now that yes. we have driven best right. in class towing. So, dude, first of all, how do you even find a trailer that, that pulls 35,000 pounds? <laughs> Those are special trailers. Well, that's the problem. And see, too, when you're over 30,000, you have to go to a three-inch ball. We like to bake balls, <laughs> and they have to be three inches once you're over 30,000. <laughs> so they have been now on that, that 3,500 dually, it comes with both balls. But I told Andre, Andre, get both the balls. Andre brought back the small ball. <laughs> All right. So there we are. But that's okay because we're going to pull a trade about 30,000. Andre has small balls? Well, he does now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell him that when he gets yeah. here. <laughs> and and uh, the doors, what's his name? Jim Morrison. Yeah. When we were looking at the frames. The doors. The, uh, well, what did he come up with? for the doors. But <laughs> anyway, he handed me this three-inch ball. And I thought, holy cow, this thing must have weighed 50 pounds. It was heavy. Yes, and Zach. So I, got, so I actually got to hold it. Before we get too much deeper into talking about Andre's balls, I think there's something <laughs> we need to mention, somebody we need to mention for helping to put on today's show. Yes, today's show is brought to you by our friends at Auto Stop Eliminator. Don't you, do you hate Stop Start? Well, it doesn't be a pain. And see, too, when it's new, it's nice and fresh and crisp and works really well. Yeah. As you get some age on them, they start stuttering, <laughs> and the stuttering part bugs I, me. I think a lot of people actually hate, you know, Stop Start because... Uh, it um, it's just really kind of jarring, you know. And so um, our friends at Auto Stop Eliminator sell a simple solution for that problem. 
well, it's a very simple solution. Visit their website, right? Yeah. It's it's right up there. Check it out. If you've got a Ford F one fifty with uh, stop start, you yeah. can actually with this device completely delete and eliminate that stop start feature. And you know why they do stop start, right? You know what's it's you know what's really, mileage, that, yeah, you yeah. know what's super annoying about it. What's that? The fact that when you turn it off, if you start up the truck again, it starts back up. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 once you turn it off, it doesn't stay off. And you know why that is? I know why that is. Why is that? That's because in order for the government, to, so stop oh. start gives you about yeah. one mpg. It does. I've got tested it does. that about, online. About yeah. one mpg. And in order for the manufacturer to get that one mpg on the Monroney, yeah, they have to turn it back on once to restart the truck. That's automatic. That Other, makes sense. Otherwise, yeah. the company can leave it off, but then they won't get the benefit of the higher mpg. Well, sure, sure. So, I'm trying to figure out which wires it is. I'm gonna, but anyway, that's. So anyway, guys, if if you hate it, there's a solution. Well, it's more we'll than drop a link in the description for the Yeah, we'll do a link in the description. Yeah. Of, and thank you guys uh, for supporting our sponsors. I think there's another truck brand. Oh, it's GM or Rannick's GM. Yeah. That they work for too. But no, it's cool. Andre installed on that one that one truck we had, and it was it was awesome. And I understand that there's a lot of things I'd like to delete online. I mean, they have stupid power pedals and all. Half the stuff that they make you buy in these packages, I wish I didn't have. I have no use for them. All right, so we've kept you guys waiting long enough. So, what was it like to tow 35,100 pounds? How does a new truck tow? We've got a bunch of reviews coming. We've actually already done some videos with the new truck, but yeah. first hand experience, Ken. You got behind the wheel, you felt a thousand pound foot of torque. How does it do? It was intense. It was intense. That's all I can say. I was so excited. I've been waiting for this truck for a long time. Yeah. And I've been towing 25,000 pounds clear back in the, in the 70s. It's not like it's a whole new thing for me. But, you know, I wanted to just see how fast it accelerate. And this truck, like I say, a single cab two-wheel drive. And we were on a terrible road. Narrow road, potholes. Down, I mean, it had five and six grade uh, grades that I liked. But uh, the trailer did well. But, you know... It was just weird because that road was so rough, we just shook the whole time we were in it. But you can't blame the truck. No, I'm not all. saying it wasn't the truck's fault. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm explaining it's potholes and all that stuff. So it, it wasn't, it was It was because the road was so narrow. And actually, on each side of the road, it was like straight down 100 feet. You can talk to the doors guy. This he was, he this kept was telling me about that. Jim Morrison. It's straight down. On this, was, this was, once again, somewhere near Las Vegas, right? Yeah, it was about by Ghost Town, which so, is really cool. It had all these old trucks. So, so how much was he, how much torque did the old one have? It didn't have that much. Well, 900, then I think they jumped right. a more time before we went to 1,000. So, so can you tell the difference? I mean, can you really, I mean, the difference between 900 and 1,000, it seems like, it seems like, you know. You're right, and it, it really didn't seem that much different. Yeah. And it is hard to be dramatic with it. So, I don't know. I mean, when they said it, all the power, just like Chevy said, all the power's in first gear, 100% of the torque. They're not doing torque management? No, they're, they're not. not pulling they torque. doing that because it used to be like third gear on Ram, but yeah. now it's first, and so is Chevy's first. So, I guess they want you to burn your tires, but I didn't get them to smoke, and I thought I would. But Was this towing nothing, or were you trying to get them to smoke? No, I had 35,100 oh. pounds trying yeah. to smoke them. Because that's that's what you want. You want some traction. Kent, that can't be good for the clutch. Clutch? <laughs> I mean, no clutches. That can't be good for the automatic. That can't be good for the torque converter. Was it my truck? No, but what that, that the can't. Heck do I care? I'm out there to real world, real world driving. That can't be good for the torque converter to, to try to smoke tires when you're towing thirty five thousand pounds. Now keep in mind, guys. That's a very specific truck, right? It's a very, it yeah, it's not the one you're probably going to buy because this right. is a, a very light truck, which means it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. You probably didn't have a lot of the fancy Longhorn no, stuff I, in there. I think I had a radio and a cassette player. Yeah, exactly. But you know, and they're all doing the same thing. Chevy, when they tell you they're going to go thirty-five thousand five hundred, it's the same thing. It's a single cab, two-wheel drive, one ton. Hey, and actually, Clark's wanting you to choke the chicken, Ken. Well, hey, I, I Vince, thank I you. Can't choke the chicken because my granddaughter loved him too much and <laughs> broke his neck. So I got to get him to the doctor. We got to do surgery. Vince says, "Choke the chicken." You got it for ten. For thirteen ninety nine Canadian, the poor guy's dead. I mean, the neck is broke. I can't help it. But <laughs> thank you, know, you. you know, Ford on Thank that. you, Vince. Much appreciated. Yes, thanks a lot. But Ford, Ford has that four fifty. Same thing. Regular cab, two wheel drive, and it was rated to a thirty five thousand a long time ago. Yes. So they're all doing the same thing, but that's but at least Chevy's not stuck at twenty three thousand, and Ram's still leading the torque wars. So you know, there you go. But no, it was it was cool. I, I don't understand why they didn't go to a ten speed or an eight speed on. That Ison with that big engine, I would have thought that would have been cool to have those extra gears to keep the arms yeah, up. That yeah, because they, they went to the eight speed. Oh, another one. Well, the eight speed is yeah. only on the six four gas yeah. Hemi. Yep. Thank you, thank you, John, Morgan Powell. I oh, towed twenty one. Whoa! Look at it. <laughs> John stop, says stop. I towed twenty one uh, round tables with my truck, thirty two pounds in Alabama. Me and Mr. Truck 
in one chair, tables, and ladders match. He wants you to sit on the, I think, truck when it's being towed, dude. Cool. Which yeah. truck? Which truck might what you What did you get? What would you have there, John? What would you tow that with? He said, my truck. What was your truck, dude? Let us know. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, read it out. And by the way, this show is answering your questions, so we are going to get to the questions part of the show very soon. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the uh, Ford F-350 and the F-450. Okay. Right? Because now, now we've got this year is a year of the heavy-duty truck wars. And Ram fired the first shot. They were, but, they were out of the gate first. But I want you to know when I was going up the 5% grade, yep. it did it well, but it didn't feel like the old one. But at the old one, we were pulling 30,000. Yep. So when you had 5,000 to it, and you're trying in your own mind, see, now is this going faster? Is it the same? To me, it felt the same as if I had the 30,000 pound trailer. So don't be thinking that it's, that it's a gutless one. It's not. It just pulls 5,000 pounds, the same speed it did 30,000 pounds. Okay. All right. So um, basically, we've got more. We've got more uh, capability, but it feels the same as the old one. Right, right, and that's that's how it is with all those loaded trucks. You know, we've done all three of the big brands, go, you know, drag racing and else. And drag racing, Ram doesn't beat the other guys, but when they're loaded, they all pull the. I got almost the same. It's almost the same. It's amazing how close it is. All right, all right. So now we'll see how close they are in thirty-five. All right, so now we've got Ram out the door. Fired the first shot. Next came Chevy, and Chevy said that. Uh, uh, they're going to tow 35.5, so they're going to outperform uh, Ram by 400. And Ford recently unveiled their trucks, uh, but they kept their powder dry. They didn't let us know how much they're going to tow. Yeah, the Super Duties. Last time we did a talking trucks, Andre and I were saying, what are we going to say about Ford? They didn't tell us anything. What the heck is there to say about Ford? It'd be really a short segment on Ford, because we don't know. But that's how it goes. Maybe at the truck show next week, we might get a little more info. We'll probably get more info on the work trucks. The 650, 750, and all that other stuff. Yeah, and by the way, Kent and uh, Steve from Canada are going to the uh, work truck show in Indianapolis, I believe. Is that right? Oh. And so uh, we're going to have some work trucks. So if you guys like uh, medium-duty trucks, and dude, let's face it. With these trucks, even the heavy-duty trucks, we're into medium-duty now, right? With yeah. 35,000, yeah. you are into medium-duty truck size. Well, maybe, you know, you think about it with these 35, these 3500s and F350s and F450s and all that size truck, class 5 trucks, actually class 3 trucks through 5, why do you need a bigger truck when you got stuff that'll pull this much? It's going to out tow, you know, and it will out tow the class four and five. I know, it's crazy. So, yeah, it is. I hope the brakes on a trailer, like Andre and I were looking at traders today from TransWest. Yeah. Electric over hydraulic triple axles, and this is what you need to stop 30,000 pounds or 35,000 pounds. You need a whole better brake system on your trailer, which I hope it happens. So, Steve's going to be. In Indianapolis with, with you. me next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Does, does Steve like strip bars or? <laughs> Which we can't, I don't know. What do you do in Canada? Uh, they do the same thing we do, except they do it in a colder climate. Uh, well, I can understand that. <laughs> he, he's he, he's uh, going to be there with you, so you know please. know what happens when things are cold, but yes. So what, do you, what about the 350 and 450? you had a question? No, we were just talking about, <laughs> about what, what Ford's doing. Uh, before we get to the questions, I do want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, uh, Paisley's uh, Jerky Dude. Is that open? Yeah, it, yeah. Paisley's Jerky. We actually love this stuff so much that they sent us a box of this. I think there were like eight packets, right? And yeah. it was meant to be used for the show. Uh -huh. And within a week, we had eaten it all. <laughs> it was so good. Grass fed wait, from wait, Utah. Wait, let me look in there. You know, I, I'm a huge jerky fan, and this is some darn good jerky. Whoa, whoa. You know, I'm honestly not saying that because there are sponsors. I'm saying that because this stuff is really good. We're raised in Southern Utah. Yeah, exactly. So we'll do a link um, uh, to their website uh, for you in the, in the comments below. Please support them. Uh, they make the show possible. And uh, Danell uh, Fallenworth says, uh, choke the chicken, dude. Oh, choke the chicken. Jalen. Jalen says, um, oh, geez, holy cow. Mm, sorry. He wants to know, do you know, do you know anything about the possibility of an 8-liter Chevy engine? Personally, I think the 6.6 gas is all we're going to get. Anything about an 8-liter? Well, we, we don't know. We've never driven the 6.6, so we don't know if that's a beast or a dog. The 6-liter was a good, reliable engine, and that transmission was reliable, but it was slow. Look, when Ford announced that they're bringing back that pushrod 7.3, you know, the new one. Right. I think people are now all excited about, uh, for a long time, people were all excited about diesel engines, and now I think people are getting excited about oh, big, yeah. big block American gas engines. Well, yeah, when you figure, you know, diesel's 80 cents more a gallon. Yeah. And it costs you another 11000 to buy the diesel unless you're using it all the time and making money pulling traders. Not, yeah, that's me. I haven't had, it was three trucks ago since my last diesel, and that's because I don't pull that kind of weight that I have to have a diesel. Yeah, and they're a lot more expensive to maintain. 
right? Oh, yeah. You need uh, DEF fluid also every time you fill up. So yeah, I, I see why people like gas engines, and I love the fact that we're getting uh, a 7.3 in the Ford. I have not heard anything about an 8 liter uh, Chevy. You know, we well, just they had the 8 one a long time ago. Yeah, we just actually did the exact opposite. We just did a video with uh, Chevy's new four cylinder, the two seven turbo, right? Uh, and it gets really good fuel economy. And I'm going to tell you guys, I think. Fuel economy is really a touchstone for all levels of trucks. Is the 27 getting better? Because I didn't know really it that, that good, but now it's... Well, we got 20. We got 20 on the 27. No, the, but, the Chevy, the four-cylinder, not well, the Ford. Right. I know, but that's not a class leading. That's not even top of the class. Well, that's, that's, not, that's not highway. That's around town. That's combined. Okay. You don't think it's good? Who is that? Hey, it's Tommy. Holy cow, Tommy, you don't get any jerky. No, you don't get any jerky. Here, have some jerky, you dude. You stay away from our jerky. Don't oh, have, have, <laughs> have some jerky, Tommy. There you go. Have some jerky. <laughs> it's good jerky, huh? Yeah. We right. love jerky. This is this, this guy loves jerky. All right. Did you God. tell him about the issue where we ran out of it all? Yeah, we, we ate it all. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, Not ideal. Keep Nathan, Nathan kept jerky. going at it. Nathan, Nathan, ate Nathan, ate all the, Nathan ate all the jerky. Uh, so you guys... Um, you guys uh, got to drive the trucks, and uh, Nathan and Andre actually drove back in the heavy duty. So we did an MPG loop on the HD, uh, yeah. new HD. Yeah. And when Andre comes, uh, he can tell you all about that to drive it from Vegas to Colorado, see what kind of fuel economy you got. I, I know that number, but I'd rather have him tell you because he worked really hard to get that number. All that's right, so let's answer some of these questions. Okay. All right. Let's an oh, let's answer some of these questions. All right. Uh, we got a question from Ken. Love watching your show, guys. Thank you, Ken. Uh, wasn't sure how to ask a question, so I hit the website. As a Colorado man, I wonder why manufacturers do not add a turbo to their HD gas engine to reduce power loss when towing at altitude. I think a turbo would make a great engine and more efficient day-to-day -day applications. Power wagon don't care with the turbo would be way cool. You know what? I've asked the Ford engineers about that. I said, So what's the answer? I, you know, well, I had some of them admit to me that they could take that five-liter Coyote, yep. put twin turbos on it, yep. and it would be. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? It would be. Oh, diesel. I'd buy that. And they told me it's a marketing. I'd buy that. They make more money on the diesels and dependability in the diesels, so they can do it. Because I've asked that too. I want that. You know, I want twin turbos on everything. I mean. Look at what's coming out, uh, you know, with that Raptor Ranger and in Australia. So, so two turbos on a four bank. So, so what I'm thinking is what Kent is suggesting is putting twin turbos on uh, Ford's new 7.3 liter. Everything. <laughs> Wouldn't that twin be? Turbos. <laughs> How much horsepower do you think that could put? I mean, they haven't told us numbers on the 7.3. We're we're guesstimating at around 500, 500 horsepower, 500 right. torque. Imagine right. if they stuck two turbos on that. I mean, now you're talking probably good God, 800 horsepower. Yeah, I agree. In, in the Rocky Mountains, we need turbos on everything, and that's that's what that's what puts the Ford EcoBoost ahead of like say a 6.2 Chevy. At altitude, Ford whips butt, but at sea level, that 6.2 can kick the EcoBoost. So Anderson Rodriguez says, do you think the Toyota should drop HD trucks? When do they start? I think he means like drop them like a record to <laughs> like actually start building HD trucks. Uh -huh. No, no, there's no? there no, it's it's still it's so hard to invade this country and I know they're made here and all that. Whoa! Look, look that's, at that's Nissan. That's an interesting way to put it. Look, look at Nissan's numbers, look at Toyota's numbers. Uh, they have uh, not oh, caught oh, up to anybody in this country. Hold on here. Uh, it's born in the uh, USA. Those trucks are born. Those, in those the trucks USA. are made in, <laughs> in Texas. Hey, uh, what another donation here from uh, Mike Tamponi, I hope I said that right. I'm currently driving a 17 Taco TRD off-roader that I love, not practical for towing um, in Idaho. What is the best diesel full-size truck? What is the best diesel full-size truck? So there's a there's an Eco Diesel, right? The Ram. Uh, Eco. E Eco yes. Diesel, right? Yes. That came back the three liter. Yes. There is the V6. Ford, right? Is that what he's talking about? Is half tons? Yeah, he wants full size. Okay, but yeah, half tons. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. so, so that there's a Ford. Oh, uh, I, I would go with the Eco. And Chevy, I think Ram Chevy, is proven. Chevy has a six, six cylinder coming out, which isn't out yet. Yeah, nobody knows. Nobody knows about. It. So, which would you go with, Ram or the go, Ford? I would go with Ram. The Ram has been around, even though they've had their problems with the EPA. Yep. I have problems with the EPA. That's a normal thing. Who cares? But anyway, Mike, I'd wait for the Chevy. I, have, I love straight sixes. I have a lot of friends that have the Eco Diesel, and they're all getting thirty miles to the gallon. But you know, the Ram. I don't think the Ford cells are that good. But it, what kills me at the Ford is, yeah, thirty miles to the gallon on two wheel drive, twenty five on a four wheel drive, the one that everybody buys. 
why is it that big a spread? I mean, in the old days when I was young, they had that big a spread. Now it's down to two or sometimes the same fuel mileage between four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive. So why does Ford have a five miles to the gallon? Mike wants, uh, Mike wants to know for off-road. For off-road, get the Red Bull or get the Raptor. I mean, at that point, you might as well just go for the off-road truck. Hey, we got another donation. Once again, another chicken oh, tire. You must have magic in your jeans. <laughs> Brian, John, want what? to give you money, Roman. Brian, thank you very much. <laughs> Brian wants to know... Um, <laughs> Do you know when the build and pricing feature will be available on the RAM website? Do we know that, Zach? I don't. We don't know that. But you know what? We'll, uh, we can ask that question for you and find out. Uh, those trucks hopefully will be available sometime in the spring, yeah. maybe summer, early summer. So it should be coming online very soon. We're looking at uh, Fords. Their, their trucks aren't coming out until like November. I don't know right offhand. RAM has announced pricing. So yes. we're doing heavy yes. duty trucks. So you can find out what the pricing is going to be over on tfltruck.com. Yeah, go to. We've got yeah. the complete breakdown of how much, but and they're uh, a little bit higher. But. Yeah, they're a little bit higher. So the pricing on the new Rams is a little bit higher, but they're packaging more stuff into them. So you're yeah. actually getting, if you look at it, you're actually getting more truck for the same amount of money, give or take. Yeah, and see that hit me. I do the six four. Yeah. Uh, with the doors, and we I took a, a recording of the sound of it. And I think it sounds as cool as the 5.7. The you know, 5.7 always had that nice, low, deep rumble. And the 6.4 sounded like, you know, kind of whiny thing. Even though it had the power, it never sounded good. This one that I drove, the 19, and the Power Wagon or the other, the 2500, I thought it really sounded cool. You like the sound? I like the sound of the new 6.4. And right. it's got that 8-speed automatic. Yeah. Can't beat that. Right. I like more gears. Yeah, more gears, but know? it doesn't get much better fuel economy. You got another well, question. How do you know that? Got another question. No, hey, Kyle. No on it. Yeah, yeah, Kyle. Kyle uh, wants to know uh, Think Ford would bring back the high boy. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about the high boy, Kyle. We've heard a lot of uh, rumors about Ford bringing back the high boy and probably putting in that 7.3 into it. We know high boys. Wouldn't ah, that be ah, cool? Ah, you, 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 ah, actually, ah, actually, ah, hey, hey here, here, here is something real. This is something completely real. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on you, Kent, for better or worse, all right? Okay. So when the last generation of the Super Duty came out, Kent hated the 250 because he thought it was too tall. You said it looked like a what in heat? A itch in heat. A, yes. I, when they, yes. they're backing up like, the, you know, yeah. the local and so, dog. So he, all, he just kept hammering and hammering and hammering the, the engineers. You did. Yes. I was there. I watched yeah. you. Yeah. And, and what happened when the new ones came out? They lowered it. They inch. lowered it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, another one. We got another <laughs> one, dude. GM lowered there's an inch. Everybody's into listening no, to me. You Miguel. Know oh, oh. Miguel. Oh. Do-da. Do-da. He wants to know, use ZR2 or wait for the Gladiator. Uh, that's a that's a huge price difference. Gladiator is going to be expensive. Use the R2s are probably going to be more affordable. I would say go the R2. You know what it is. Gladiator yeah. we haven't tested. We don't even know what it does. Yeah, go. You know what? I had a friend who uh, used to tell, he taught me this lesson. Right? I got one of the very first. Uh, he got one of the very first generations of uh, iPods. Yeah. Remember those? And I came to him like a year later. Um, no, I got one of the first generations iPod, and he got the new one. And I was like, dude, I'm so jealous because you got the new one. And what he told me was so true. He said, you know what? You've had yours for a year while I haven't been able to use it. So this way, if you get it, you'll have the ZR2 and That's, you'll be able to use it. Because, gosh, no, and, and the, you know, there is a lot to be said for not getting the first year of production. Right. And there's a very few times has that worked out well. I mean, you know. There's I, I always teething the issues. Yes. You should always wait. Like my truck now, the 150 I got. Yeah. It's not the first one. The first one came out last year. Yeah. So the 18 is second year. Second year, 10 speed. Second year. Uh, the, the port dual injection. Yeah. So that's how what I was thinking too. I didn't get the first year of any of that stuff. You know, we got that new Ram Rebel first year. We've already got uh, recalls on it. See, I'm see grasshopper. I am wise. You are wise, Kent. <laughs> 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 All right, here we've got a toy hauler question from Justin. Okay. Okay. He's saying I'm stuck between the 2018 Ram 3500 with auto level and a 2019 GMC Denali 3500 dual, both dual rear wheels, right? So they're, yeah. they're dualies. I pull a 40 foot Raptor toy hauler with my current 2015 Ram 2500 and I noticed you don't have many tests with newer Duramaxes in them and I'm wondering why that is. Well you know we always try to compare all those trucks together but the GM because it only towed 23,000 yeah. made us go to a lower trailer for all three which wasn't fair to the bigger guys. Yeah. So now that's going to change we'll be able to pull 30,000 with all three of them is probably what we're going to do but 40 foot Raptor, if you're pulling the 2500, was there a particular reason why you're going to duels in your next truck? Do you just not have the control you want? I wonder why he's going up a size. But anyway, between those two. Yeah, he wants to know between oh, those two. Man, what would you get? That's tough. I mean, you know, the 18 was a good Ram. The Denali, there's nothing wrong with it. That's the old generation. So, you know, you're going to be able to find new 2019s out there with rebates and zero interest and all that. On the 18 Ram, it's going to be buying a used one. 
And that's going to cost you as much as a new one. That's how that works out, you know, with rebates and invoices and holdback and all that. Wise so, words, yeah, Grasshopper. Yeah, wise words there. Yeah. I think he's. I think he's right. Tom's falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Control booth, you guys got to stay sharp over there. Don't be falling asleep. Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> what the hell is he doing? <laughs> building a war here. Uh, so there you have it, guys. Mr. Truck says go for the new truck, you know, uh, don't go for the used one. Yeah. I, yeah I'm with you I'm on that. I, I think you're right because they discount. They, the truck wars are so, so ongoing right now. They're so yeah. heavy that, you know, you might as well go and, you know, try to play the dealers yeah, off of yeah. each other. That's now, a good half idea. Half-tons is a bigger war than the heavy duties. It's yep. really weird how that works out, but yeah. Yeah, they give away these half times. Did you get? They give you yours because they gave me mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave you mine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Joey's cleaning lady is an interesting question. All right, what's Joey's what Joey's cleaning lady? What's your question? More of a statement. It's I don't think we'll ever see TFL do a review of the G56 manual transmission RAM, which is going, uh, going gone. Well, it's too late now. It's gone. What are we gonna do? We can't go get a used one. I mean, so, the fleet won't have so, it. So, so let me let me kind of give you some behind the scenes stuff. We get a lot of emails every day from people saying, "Wouldn't it be great if you could test this truck or compare yeah. this truck?" It doesn't work that way, guys. We can't just like snap our fingers and call up uh, the manufacturers and say, "Hey, we want you know this truck in this configuration right, on this right. date." It's very hard to actually get trucks. Uh, that compete directly and yeah. it's almost very hard just to even get trucks sometimes because there's certain trucks allocated to the Denver press fleet and we have access to those and luckily because you guys watch us sometimes we can actually get trucks outside of that if yeah. we drive them away from an event like we did the Ram but dude we can't get uh, a lot of these vehicles that, that you wish we could test yeah and then the only alternative is going to the dealer and that's got a whole world of pain as well. Well the tricky part about dealers is because you got to put a thousand miles on these trucks so uh, dealers are not going to drive for a thousand miles unless you use it yeah. and that makes it that's the harsh part of it but yeah and the manufacturers are going to ship out their best, most expensive truck because that's what they want you folks to buy. Yeah. When I sold trucks for 10 years, and it was really killed me, is when the new products came out, they didn't want us to even see the news. They didn't want us to know about the new product. Kind of hid it from the salespeople. But when it did come out, uh, you know, that they were they were hard to get, and they always shipped us the most expensive trucks that were made at the time. So the first four or five trucks you got were the most expensive trucks, and people would just jump all over them, and then dealers made a lot of money on that. Yeah, because and, dealers yeah. make more money on the more stuff you add to a truck. Right, and the they work trucks they don't came make out money later. Yeah, yeah. Work no. trucks didn't come out for months after yeah. you know, the beginning. It used to be in September, but that's all changed. Yeah, it's it's marketing. Marketing runs the world. So did you get to drive? Donald Trump told me that. Did you get to drive... Uh, um, did you get to yeah, did you get to I, drive the power wagon? Yes, I drove it off road. Yeah, how we was it? For ghosts in these gold mine hills. How how is it? It was cool. Wagon? You know, I had Nick with me, so we had tires off the ground, and he did a demonstration with the winches. But it was cool. I mean, I, I do like that. Six winches four. or winches? I don't know. I, I you, you know, were in Vegas was, after they were, all. They were ghosts. I don't know what they were, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, that uh, it was it was great. I liked it. They had a really good place to drive, and we we were you know, articulating the heck out of it. And it was really neat. Is that's a box frame. And I've been some hundred trucks that you try to go off road with, and they would squeak, clatter, and all that. That thing, we twisted that frame so much, and the wheels were off the ground. It didn't make any noise. There was no road noise. There was no frame stretching. There was none of that where the doors were coming undone, you know, from all the twisting, because that could happen. Because that's one of the reasons, like the unibodies from Europe, they don't like using weight distributing inches because they know that the doors are part of the frame, and if you do a lot of twisting, those doors will not close and open. So that ram was very impressive. I, it was a very qual. I really liked the, what they've done to the quality. Hey, uh, it's, um, it's Chase, good, good Chase has a question. By the way, Chase, I'd love to have you on the show since you are not too far away from our studio. So shoot me an email or call me. Let's get you on the show. We'd love to have you. Bring donuts. Yeah, bring donuts. So Chase wants to know, Mr. Truck, what's the best way to tow a front-wheel drive sedan? He's got a 2001 Fusion. Should I consider airbag uh, for more support or stiffer he's, springs? He's trying to tow with the Fusion. Oh, with. Yeah, what's the best way to tow? Oh, so, yeah, what the, the hell are you going to tow with the Fusion? Yeah, dude, you get a truck. Rack? What do you have? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yeah, it's, it's hard to do front wheel drives because, you know, you're taking the weight off your traction. So your tires are going to spin a little bit unless you like smoking your tires. But I think those are only rated, I mean, the biggest ones I've seen are rated to tow 1,000 to 2,000, which is nothing. Even like the Escape and some of that stuff, they're not rated much. Just like your React on top's only rated for 200 pounds, what are you going to put up there? So all that stuff's not made for towing. And then, you know, in the Spare old tire, days, that's about it, huh? yeah, in the old days, like the Crown Vic and all that had bigger half shafts, had all this whole towing package, like a police package, then you could do some of that. But those were rear-wheel drive. So what they have now, you really, I mean, a lot of those vehicles, if you look in your owner's manual, they'll say, do not tow with this vehicle. So Fusion's pretty small. I, 
All right, so you you and Andre got to drive all these Rams. So you drove the uh, the dually. Yeah. You drove the power wagon. Several duallys. Okay. Did you drive a single wheel? I did two twenty five hundred. And how did that go? Well, that had the Hemi in it. I, yeah. It was. I didn't. I don't, I don't know if they had much of those hooked to trailers. They had a lot of trailers there. Yeah. My video shows bunches of them, but uh, I didn't have a problem with it. You know, and it's it's weird because I had Rod Romaine, the ch big chief engineer kind of guy there. Yep. And excuse me, he was very helpful on that. But he was talking about how that progressed. Go chicken. Tommy, you make him seem yeah, gestures what are you saying? over there. What do you do? Well, keep 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 going. Finish yeah. what you're gonna say. TDD three hundred five oh. Brooks says love the show. So yeah, you, what, what you, was I talking about? You were talking about yeah. the single wheel. Oh yeah, the single rear wheel. Yeah. He was saying that now, just this year, they went to progressive coils, and I thought they did that last year, where you know a single rate is it's the same distance between there, so it'll sag more, it won't support. Progressive one, they're closer together at the bottom part, and then they're wider apart, just like you see on ATVs, like your Polaris, and that gives you support. It's only sag so far, and then it supports it. So that is really cool, but I, I, I was confused that he thought it just came out this year, and maybe he's right, but I, I thought they were out a year or two ago. You, you know, Ram is one of the only manufacturers that actually does airbags in their trucks. Yes. Yeah, they do air ride. But it's not full air. It's Well, it actually is. On the 2500, yep. it is. Yeah, I was going to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, it's a four-link system. It's a real air thing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the heavy-duty ones. They keep getting better all the time. And, then, you know, they level it out an inch, and you can drop it down a couple inches to get under your ball like I did on my truck. So all that is really cool, but on the, on the, on the heavy duties, even a single rear wheel 3500, they all have leaves, plus the airbag if you get the airbag. But what's cool is that truck, that single cab, really <laughs> two-wheel drive that I pulled 35,100 pounds. Yes. <laughs> well, it had air suspension. I thought that is so cool that they can do that with air and with just leaves without air. So, so, so my question to you is, and I've always... We've actually had this problem a number of times. So people used to buy the Ram Rebel with air suspension, which is great because it would raise the truck when you went off road. But then the question we always got was, how do I lift it? And the fact is, you can't. When you get air oh, suspension, yeah. you can't you can't lift it. And my other question is, would you actually buy a car, a truck with air ride? Because over time, it eventually fails, right? Those bags. Oh, you had one. You had well, you had an air ride thing, and even your space. I bet eighty percent of the semis and semi trailers are all air. And your buses, look at your big RVs, they're all air rides. Yeah, so but, but, the, like but, the, but, the, but those are maintained by professional mechanics in fleets, right? These are these are trucks that well, that a lot of people spend a lot of time maintaining and not the kind of pickup truck that you, you park behind your house at the end of the day. But think about hooking up to a trailer and having an air leveling system that would keep you level all the time. Right. That means your brakes work better, your bearings are working more for your weight, continually working together. The whole thing about air ride makes sense, except sometimes you'll have a little air leak. What's, what's a little air <laughs> a little leak between air friends, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, exactly. that's what happens when friends share air. But, you know, I, I yeah, I, I get your point on that. But uh, I, I think air on heavy-duty trucks with big trailers, I, I, I like the idea. I like how it works. I mean, you know, I mean, look at the freight line. All those guys that have Class 6 trucks are air ride. And then you got air cab. Then you got air seat. And you really have fun in those things, that air seat. You know, it's kind of rock and roll up. Ayatollah. Yeah. Hey, like well, we got is, rats over yeah, there. is Andre here? Can we get Andre to come in into the? Uh, Judging by the shadow, what's he? Right what's there. Andre? That's Nathan. Like Nathan. Yeah, that's Nathan. Like Nathan. What? I thought Andre was here. What, he, Nathan has a different figure than Andre. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I'm hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's Nathan. up, boys? Hey, Nathan, tell Andre to get his butt in here. We're, Andre, we're, we're, Andre, we we, we need you. Did come you on. drive the van back? Did you? This is this is your van boy now. Van? Van? Did you drive a van? Come on, Andre. Please. No, I, I, that's not a van. This is your show. <laughs> so, so it's a shab wagon. Uh, oh, I don't know. Poop. Oh, he's, he's using it. No, he's fine. He'll be out in a minute. He's right. just washing his left hand twice. <laughs> Light a match in there, Andre. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that yeah, I, I know the air thing. And it's, yeah. And why don't you come on over here, Nathan? Why, why, don't you, why, why don't you take over for a little bit and tell him you just towed with the new Ram. Just got yeah, back. Okay. Why don't you tell him how well, it went? Did you drive the 3500? Yeah, yeah. Come on. That is so cool. That 3500 is nice. Hey guys, how you doing? Get in there. Get in there. What is that? Oh, that's an Andre. That's an Andre. I miss, I miss my Mr. Trump. Nathan, God. The man. Oh, buddies. The man. Oh, oh, Andre. Wait, wait. Oh, Andre. Oh, this is so good. We just spent the whole day with Andre, so. Really? Yeah, you can lean you on guys him do, more. You, than guys, me. you guys smell alike. A little like. I, I, uh, <laughs> my bladder was busting. I'm was sorry. Really? I was, okay. I was in the restroom. You didn't take that can with you, like I told you. So, Andre, I tease the fact that, that you told you and Nathan drove the Ram 3500 back from Vegas. Yes. You an MPG. What kind of fuel kind did you get? We cannot tell you because it's video is coming on the TFL Truck channel, but 
You didn't tell me. Uh, he whispered to Kent. Holy it, it, cow! It was, it, was, <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit better than I expected. Really? Yes. Why does the script say to hell with Nathan? <laughs> because we haven't seen <laughs> you. We thought you quit. We thought you were off in No, I was no, off in Vegas with Andre. No, guys, literally, we drove the high output comments to from Vegas to Denver, 750 miles, empty, but highway speeds. Oh, yeah, oh, highway speeds. Yes. They still yes. 32 gallons? And we did. Tiny tank? Yes. Yeah, little <laughs> That's, uh, out of all the things they've changed on the truck, the one thing they didn't change they get was tank. the gas tank. It's 32 gallons. I think it's either 31 or 32, depending on the cab. Yeah. Right? Or the yeah. def tank, too. We were using some def still, diesel, still five, diesel exhaust still five gallon on that. Well, even an eco diesel, the 1500 is like a seven gallon def tank. Yeah, I know, but I mean, you can get a much bigger tank on a competing vehicle. Am I right? Yes. What are you going to afford? Yeah. Like I've 40. got 36 on my half ton. The big ones have 48. 48. Yeah. Bed, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. But you can get a chassis cab ram with a bigger tank. Or dual yeah, tank. Yeah, the 40 gallon. Yeah, I guess they, 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 they so, have to tell them that people use these trucks to work with and drive long distances. How's yeah. the show going? Show. Show's going good. Oh, we oh, just hi guys. Yeah. The show going on, guys. BSing with, with Zach and, and Henri over there. He had a chicken. He, he was, throw, he, he was oh. throwing donuts at me. Dude, oh. your chicken looks sick. He is. He got a broken neck. We're going to take him to the hospital. Who, 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 who got the chicken? Is, is Tommy Gordon Jr. He's wondering, sorry to, but I have to ask, is there any updates on VIA? Question mark. Also, a company called XL makes hybrid three quarter tons. Hmm. Any Guys, chance on those? very cool news. So next week, it's the work truck show in Indianapolis, we right? about it. And uh, Excel and Excel is going to be there with their electric hybrid trucks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know about VIA. I've seen F two fifty on the list. Yes. I don't That'd know about v well, is VIA there. I didn't see it on the list. So we don't know but about some that. Some of that stuff's Thursday. We won't be there Thursday. But I looked at Wednesday and Sat and, and Tuesday. But well, guys, why don't you tell them that me and Nate will be back for the car show tomorrow? Right, so. We will be back with the car show tomorrow. I'm going to be hanging out with uh, Roman and hopefully with a different and script. Big news. And uh, did we just get a donation? Yeah, Five bucks? Yeah. Another one? Are we we're behind again? Yeah. Look at that tail Let's do more group shows with hey, four of you that. at oh, the round God. table. Love the banter. Uh, thank so, you very much. Uh, we need to get a bigger table, guys. We do a round, we're a round table, so we can all, you know. A round yeah, table for other reasons, too. Cameras, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, Roman, you want to get on this uh, and, and set, close it out? No, I have Andre come on over. It's, it's their show. Let's yep. Andre go on, Andre. Yeah, you guys go, go get so some donuts. No, no. I, they, they, hey, Andre, tell them what that counter is for. It's there because we're live whenever you see the counter. So the counter counts down the subscriptions. Or I mean, counts up the subscriptions. I hope it doesn't count down. Oh, I know it. Uh, so obviously, we appreciate your support. Um, that's the subscription counter on TFL Now what, what, channel. What's that? What? What? I keep looking. And also, uh, tomorrow, Nathan and Roman are going to do something really cool on the live show at 4 o'clock. Um, really? We're, yeah, we're selling one of our vehicles. And I don't know how much I can say or cannot say about this. On the live show? Are you going to sell a vehicle on the Just live show? Just tune into tomorrow's show to find out. Yes, you have to tune in tomorrow to find out exactly what we're selling and where and how and how much and all this stuff. 159,000 subscribers on TFL now. Th I'm really happy about it. Um, so always appreciate the support. Yes, indeed. Are you eating? No. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. I, are you going to play us out? Oh, we're not. We're done? Uh, uh, well, Do yeah. Do we have any more questions online? I want to make sure we answer as many as we can. Is there a final question? Um, uh, we got a donation from Franks72. Nathan, I, like, I took your advice and traded the F-250 for the Raptor. Could not be happier. Chris Bach just donated us $5. Um, and then um, some of the people are saying that the big uh, Kenworth uses a 15-gallon uh, death tank. 15 yeah, the big gallons. Ones. You need, you well, need when, that. Yeah, because they got to hit and six, 700 miles. Without stopping, so yeah. People are wondering what the ride is like on the new um, uh, HD trucks by Ram. I thought they were the same. I, I think it's a slightly improved ride. Yeah. Uh, uh, the dually road, uh, well, the well, dually empty is an issue because you have, you know, those heavy springs in the back. Uh, so it kind of hops around. You should let all the air out of the bags if you can. Can you drop it down? No, there is an alt alternate ride right, height, right. but there's a limit to how much air you can dump. Yeah, you, it's not like you can dump the entire thing. You so the right, the there. right quality is actually, I think, slightly improved with the trailer that I did today, uh -huh. um, ten thousand pound trailer. The ride was even better, but oh, I'm not, I'm not happy about the torque delivery. Like 
I want it to be a rocket ship. Yeah, yeah at first gear, it didn't uh, feel like a thousand no, pounds. No, no, I think there is definite torque management, yeah. definite torque limit uh, on the first gear. So it's a top secret thing, because I floored that one that had 35,100 with that big trailer on it, and I never got to spit the tires. I was expecting smoke coming out of the fenders. No, they manage the torque. Okay. But see, I was on a really rough road, and it, 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 was, it was not blaming the truck, but they had us on a pothole road that, you know, and it was like you had the long eight foot bed. Yes. You had a crew cab. Yes, really long truck. So that's a limousine. It should ride fairly well. I mean, that's yes. the, that's the formula for that. But. And then Ender Slayer, he's been wanting to ask this question for a long time. What is the most useful tailgate feature on any truck, and what um, you'd like to see on tailgates that are not around yet? And we'll wrap on that. I like oh. a I like a vice. You know, you can screw it in a vice, and you can work on stuff on your tailgate. My tailgate's a bitch. I overall carburetors yes. on it. I do all kinds of stuff, so I'm on one that's got tools on it. But yeah, they all have some really cool stuff. I mean, well, it's getting more and more GMC. complicated. Yeah, the right? people that I know love that GMC. I haven't even played the barn doors. Is that only available on the 1500? For now, yes, and it's not quite out yet. We we yeah, saw it at the yeah, show in right, Chicago. Right. The barn door on the Ram 1500. GMC obviously has heavy duties. Will have it too. Uh -huh. The folding uh, pro tailgate. Right. The GMC uh, GMC. Well, Chevy has the the power I, up, power down. I. I'm like you, I use my tailgate usually as a workspace. Yeah. So, I don't know, working on some wood projects or something like that. So, I think the more of that, the better. I don't quite like the fourth step that folds out. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. It's not the, it you know, it's not the best. But all those don't work with the trailer. The only one works with the trailer is GM. With the little corner step in the bumper. Yep. And now they got the step up behind the cab. They understand that you got to use a trailer. Well, the barn door is actually trucks. nice. Yeah, I that like has the barn a doors. step in the middle, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't care about the step in the middle, but you could actually get closer to the cargo. Boom, you can get up there. Because you're, like, you're a whip, you can't reach in there and pull stuff out, you have to be really close to it? Well, when you have the six and a half foot bed, what are you going to do? Well, what if you got an eight foot bed? What are you going to do with that? Yes. Uh. So, so I think I like that there are more different tailgates coming out, but yeah. I like it as a workspace. Well, they do more, more focus groups than I do. I, I quit doing focus groups, so they probably shouldn't know something. Okay. But I, I like tailgate that I can use with a trader. That's my thing. Okay. All right. Well, go. we're going to close on that question. Thank you very much. Wait, wait I'm going to close with eating jerky, man. Really? It makes me sing. Whoa. He, Holy he just, cow. What was he that? Just, he just did something at you. <laughs>